Okay, let me make sure we're public. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I don't know why it never makes it public. Okay, and we're live. All right. Welcome, everyone. I'm just sharing it out. Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome. And I'm going to make sure... This is also shared to my other page. All right, so we're on and I am back. I hope that you were able to catch my other interview last night about um, skincare and makeup with Damali Marshall Beauty. But today I have, I don't know if I should call you my mom or my... <laughs> I have my mom on, um, and she is back with a surprise. So first, introduce yourself, reintroduce yourself, because we should always do that, um, and let them know who you are, and then I'll proceed. Okay, I'm Donna Mann. I'm the author of It's Time to Live, The Kingdom Way, and I have a big surprise today. I have another book. And I'm going to get it now and open it. Okay. All right. And this is number two. This is their second number book. Number two. Yep. Woo! Here is the long awaiting book, The Stranger <laughs> Than I Thought I Knew, Hidden Signs of Narcissist. So it's published and wow i feel like this is ooh, this has been a long ordeal so tell everyone what made you want to first of all document it and then you know make it a full-blown book um i felt like i needed to document it because I had never experienced anything like this before. And I wanted others to be aware of what to look for because I was really um, in the dark. Hold it up. Oh, I was really in the dark. <laughs> Hold it up. And this is what it looked like. This is how the person came, you know. That's why this cover looks like this, because I really wasn't looking for anyone. And I know mm -hmm. that it was the plan of the enemy. When I say the enemy, I mean the devil, because I was yeah. working on something else. I was working on my, my mm -hmm. book, It's Time to Live the Kingdom Way, and a halt came to that because of this... Um, distraction this was the distraction and it was a learning for me yeah yeah um we're gonna get into the kind of more of the details we did a lot before plenty of times but the book is actually done now so yeah. um, you can go and get your own personal copy. This is kind of like a launch live. Um, yes. And with this particular book, we're planning to um, go out and around and do workshops, do all these type of things because people just don't know um, what they're dealing with when they're in relation with people, not just romantically, but um, through friendships, mm -hmm. through um mm -hmm. You name it, the uh, family members, uh, you know, sometimes in your kids. 
it could be possible for all those type of relationships. So um, this is her uh, proof copy. It's all done. If you want to just like flip through it really quick, it's oh, almost yeah. like a, a crime mystery, uh, intense love romance story. Because one key thing to point out is that this happened within a year. Yes. <laughs> so within what could take year. 10 years? This only right. happened within a year. Yeah. So right. that's a lot of trauma. That's a yeah. lot of trauma and yep. heartache and pain to, to deal with in such a quick time. Yes. Um, so and that's the inside of it. Um, this uh, title, you can I say this one? title? Uh, this title says, when was the big first encounter? So it goes mm -hmm. on through how we met. Um, the romance um, with a touch of class and finesse and it just goes mm -hmm. on and on and on um, it's it's pretty interesting how this came about because I but it's I'm, only 70 pages it's, it's only a, 70 it's, pages so it's straight a quick to the read. point yep it's an mm -hmm. easy read it's just a tool um that all my books, I mean, so far it's just been a tool. So um, mm -hmm. I urge you to get it, read it, and I guarantee you, you might know someone that's portraying some of these behaviors because I put them in the book. And um, yeah. I feel like I have closure now, but it, it took me a while to finish this book because I had to relive um each part that I was kind of trying to portray to the uh, reader. Um, I had to yeah. relive it. And that's what's really making me get healed because I don't want to feel ever feel like that ever again. Never, mm -hmm. ever. And so that's why I wrote about it. And then I decided to put it in a book. And I remember yes. some key things a lot of things I did not put in this book because I did not want to hurt people. So there was a right. lot of things I could have put in here, but I didn't. Because in the, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, I'm not trying to hurt anybody. I was already right. hurt. <laughs> so, yeah. 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 So let's touch on a little bit of um, something you had brought up about being naive. Now, we have a lot of romantic uh, marriage talk, relationship talk. All these podcasts are talking about, you know, dating, courtship, whatever. But um, what did you say about the naiveness that you had um, when it came to dating or however you put it? You could put it like that again for the people. Okay. Actually, um in my situation, I really, when I was growing up, I'm going to go back. <laughs> when I was growing up, I wasn't allowed to do a lot of things. I don't remember going out to clubs, none of that. When my friends were out there, you know, the few friends, friends that I had. Um, I was mostly at home. I didn't know anything about dating. Um, I married, when I married my husband, my first husband, I went to a picnic and that's how I uh, met my husband of 32 years. And my husband was there with his family at the picnic. So I got to meet his mother, father, brothers, sisters. I got to meet all of them. And um, my husband was a real gentleman. I mean, he was really like waiting on me. And this was his first time ever seeing me. And he was very nice. And um, he was just loving, just a loving person. So, um, it, you know, we dated for probably about six months, seven months. And we, we stayed married for 32 years until his um, death. But um, 
the thing that I want you to know that a lot of people don't even know about dating. Um, I didn't go to no site. I wasn't even looking for anybody because I was really trying to get in touch with myself without my husband. I had been mm -hmm. um, by myself for seven, I think about seven years and it's eight now. And um, I was just trying to find out who Donna Mann was. <laughs> That's what I was doing because I'm talking about from way back. I mean, you know, I just needed to find out who, and I'm still learning who I am. So mm -hmm. to um, come Can you up talk with about the mother, the mother relationship. Oh, yeah, though? yeah, yeah. The the um, thing that I noticed was my husband was very close to his mom. Um, he his mom was very loving, um, and he showed those tendencies. And plus, he had a lot of sisters. And um, when we were uh, about, uh, he, he had a lot of friends, a lot of women friends that confided in him, talked to him. Mm -hmm. So he was a whole total different person from what I ran Now into. this parallel this to parallel this to the person you're talking about cuz people can hop on and think we're talking uh, about no, your first husband but oh. this person that came into your life you said they didn't have a relationship with no. their mother No Now go more have... in depth about why that's important That's very important because um most of the times, if they don't have a relationship with their moms, you're not going to see a genuine love come across. And that's what I found out because I didn't get to meet this person's mom. Um, I didn't get to meet nobody really in his family until almost the time. And um, he didn't talk about his um, family you know, like that. And so I didn't have nothing to go on. I really didn't have anything to go right. on. Right. And I and I was older right. than the person. I was older than him. Um, although I didn't look like I was older than him. He looked older than me, but what I mean, you know, he looked he looked like he was my age, mm -hmm. really. So um yeah. So yeah, the whole I wanna say this really quick. I want to say this really quick because uh, there's this Risa Tisa lady on TikTok with her story. And one of the things she said was she didn't meet nobody that he knew either. So mm. it's like when you come into contact with people and they don't have relationship with other like you have to pay attention to what other people are saying about the person. Mm -hmm. So if nobody has anything to say, but okay, they're sneaky, or I don't really see them like that, or then you, there's a red flag right there. Um, right. There's several red flags, but I thought that was um, powerful of you saying he didn't have a relationship with his mom, and then my dad had a relationship with his yeah. mom, so he never treated us like scum, or <laughs> it wasn't a right. disconnect. Right. Um, it, was, it was loving. Always so that's never. that's one, yeah. That's one thing narcissists do not have is empathy, empathy, um, love, anything like that. So they I don't thought have that was the, really important. They, they don't have the capacity to to love anybody because what they're doing yeah. is basically trying to fill that void, and they are angry, and they're trying to they're take it out on um, other people, and so. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so my whole point and you was, have a chapter I, about that, right? You have about, a chapter about the mom? Well the situation with the mom. Not really I don't I, I had about the mom passing. I d I didn't have anything. I know, for, but you had the yeah. you have mm -hmm. the in that book, yeah, you have a situation about how he was oh yeah mm -hmm. at the um I don't know who that is, but <laughs> how yeah. he was acting at the funeral. Right. Can you act? Can you kind of like summarize that without telling the whole thing? Well, it, he was just acting like a little kid. You know, he was really not acting like a grown man. 
like a little kid. Mm -hmm. So somewhere down the line, something then happened for him. And there mm -hmm. was his mother gone. So you can't get right. that back, you know. So um, I, I realize all that now. Once I went through this and I started thinking back, that's why I wrote, that's why I wrote things out because I was like, wow, look at all these red flags. And I didn't even, I didn't even, I was naive. Like I said, I mean, I really wanted to be married. I thought that this was my knight in shining armor that, that you know, person came and, you know, and he, he professed that he was a pastor, prophet. Mm -hmm and elder and you know god gives people gifts without repentance but i saw no fruit in this not nothing nothing mm -mm. no nobody mm -mm. none of those nobody came that was part of a ministry or nothing yeah yeah so, so hold the book up again one more time for people that may come across um we are discussing the stranger i thought i knew Hidden signs of a narcissist. Um, again, this is a topic that ha has been spoken about all throughout the pandemic. But to have a testimony style book to come out about being a narcissist, um, this is major because my mom made it out on the other side. Other people may be still going through it, but they may mm -hmm. not understand the signs of it. Right. Um, and then let's talk a little bit about the recovery process because one of the recovery um strategies you use was to document everything right. that's why we have a book today so you want to talk more about how that kind of made you feel when you started documenting it uh yes um actually i first of all i asked for forgiveness because i am a believer and this hit me like a ton of bricks because just mm -hmm. because you are a believer, you have to always renew your mind. You can't put nobody else in God's place. And I learned a valuable lesson mm -hmm. in that because I had put this man in God's place a little bit. He said he will have no other gods before him. And even though I mm -hmm. thought I wasn't doing that, I did that. So I had to ask for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't innocent either because the negativity that came out of me went with him. So, you know, it was, um, that's why I was writing and understanding and looking up scriptures and all kinds of stuff, trying to see where I failed. And, you know, for the Christian world, familiar spirits. So that was familiar. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. And God, and see, God is so awesome because he will show you yourself and what's in you. You think you going on and going on. He gets everything out, <laughs> everything out. So I found mm -hmm. out you know, that I needed to work on some things. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now we have the book. So yeah. Um, yeah. if you look at the bottom of the screen, scrolling, um, my mom has launched her ministry, full-blown ministry that she's already actually been implementing behind the scenes. Um, she's always been a giver. And I'm not just saying that because she's my mom, but she's been, she takes people to work. She gives to the homeless. Um, she's paying people's bills. Like she's full-blown ministry, but you know, it took her some time to actually. <laughs> yeah. Well, distracted. Say that she and then it took right. me a while. Great. So she has a YouTube. It is Donna Man Ministries. And then she has a website that also has the books and the t-shirts um, on there. 
and it's www.donnamanministries.com. It's scrolling on the bottom. Um, and we want to get this book to as many people as possible. Um, so purchase this for someone you feel like is in recovery mode that just needs to understand what's going on. And they need that example of a person that has made it out because once she made it out, she published another book. Right. So this is not the first book. This is actually the second. Um, and the first one was about living kingdom. It's time to live the kingdom way. And, you know, that was therapeutic, as you said. Um, but this one, you know, took it was it took a little bit because it was it was some dark it was stuff. Tough. It, <laughs> it was tough. It was really <laughs> tough. Because, it was tough. Yeah, yeah, it was really it was really a challenge. But I'm telling you, God allowed me to go through this and he did not leave. Yes. Me. He, he was yeah. with me all the time. God God loves us. I mean, he really loves mm -hmm. us. He loves us so yes. much that he sent Jesus for mm -hmm. us. And, um, and a lot of yes. people won't look at him as father. I look at him as father because many, 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 many years ago, when I was growing up, my dad was not with us. He was gone. My mom married a man. He, he, you know, got some kids and he was gone. And I remember I was going to try to be sad. And I remember that little steel voice said to me, I am your father. So I've been, mm. I know that, that, that God has been with me. I mean, he's done remarkable things. He's, he just, really did a lot for me at the beginning, getting me out of Henderson, North Carolina, and going on to be a school teacher. I mean, I wasn't, I didn't plan any of that. That was all God. I didn't plan, went to school free. He sent the people to the house. The scouts came yes. to the house and they got me. <laughs> I mean, I mean, there was a lot of people in the neighborhoods and stuff, but God chose me to be that person, to go off to school, get skills. I might have stayed a little bit too long. I think I stayed too long. But, you know, he I, But I do time. have a set. I have a segue because um, you need to kind of share what happened with your aha moment of, like the support that you had from people because everybody it was a it was not just a heartbreak from the marriage dissolving oh, yeah. but there was other heartbreaks within you know this right. is kind of like right. a major major life lesson and speak to those people that don't have a support system if they're going through this or have made it out on the other side, or they may have found out the other people were narcissists or <laughs> had those tendencies and they just didn't understand until now. So speak to those type of people because the there's that lots. Wasn't, yeah. That wasn't with me. And okay. And I was around. Well, actually um, after going, but well, going through this, after going through this, I've, I mean, I I don't know, should I say I lost friends? And I mean, well, I really didn't have a lot of friends, but I, people, <laughs> they, didn't the real. Come, they didn't, they didn't come to my, um, they didn't come to support me. They, one person told me, well, didn't your discernment check uh, come in to play? I mean, I'm thinking what, <laughs> you know, so, you know, I just had a lot of people just kind of, didn't come to my aid. They just didn't come. And if I wasn't um, in my word and studying and knew God, I really don't know how I would have got out on the other side because I always mm -hmm. spent time with God and always reading, always trying to better myself, always doing that, you know, doing, you know, that type of stuff. But these people, I mean, even people that this guy knew, 
and I went to school with the people and they kind of like stood in the background, didn't say nothing, you know, and some people came up to me later saying, oh, I knew him. I knew he wasn't nothing and all that, but they never told me. So I don't know where they tried to get me killed mm -hmm. or get me just messed up. I don't know what it was, but thank God I made it out with God's help because I really didn't have any support, no more than my daughter that's talking to me right now, you know, interviewing me right now. <laughs> I really had nobody. I mean, people well, the answers, the yeah. yeah, the interesting part though is the interesting part is that. The reason why I knew how to support is because I went through it already, but the person's age really <laughs> threw me off because I'm like, you know, you're, you're 60. 61. Yeah. 61. And yeah. And I just didn't think people, I thought people grew out of this type of stuff. Like I thought it was just an immature, yeah. you know, age time frame or phase in their life and people don't really grow out of this no like they they continue to live right like nothing is wrong and right. then they it's... harm so many people mm -hmm. in their yep. path right um, so it's 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 a bunch of hurt people out here that are running into people like this because of like you said the things that you didn't um, reflect upon or you just maybe God didn't show you yet and he had to show you through this way because mm -hmm. God doesn't really want to punish us right but right. there's he wasn't me. certain things he'll allow yeah right. he'll right. allow so yeah yeah and yeah 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 so it was, it was yeah with that being said would you um share some marriage advice or dating advice that you have you also have that in the book right what they need to do but kind right. of share on this live what would you suggest um before you even say yes to anybody first of all don't go don't look at nobody's looks and and think that they're you know and the way they are talking to you and all that kind of stuff um you you should not do any of that you should really step back even if you feel like you want to really go with the you need to step back think about it and really observe the person you really need to take note and i'm i'm telling you i really was like the person was moving so fast on me i didn't even i wasn't even thinking i was like Oh, I thought maybe just, the, the one thing that really got me was I thought the person was a pastor and the person, I don't know, was he really one? I, I can't really speak to that, but he didn't show no signs of being one. I mean, because when you're coming from God's point of view, you have love. He wasn't showing any love to me. So, I, I mean, it was really like a nightmare because he portrayed mm -hmm. to be somebody that he wasn't. So it was like a nightmare. Mm -hmm. Once the things start, you know, unfolding, I was like, oh, my God, how am I going to get out of this? Because I start realizing mm -hmm. at some point, this, this is not good. This is really not good because I even put in the book, I think that when the person come around, you all anxiety and uh, nervous and you, you know, what is that? Demonic. That's what it is. Total demonic. Yeah. And yeah. if people don't believe in yeah. demonic spirits, they are here. I mean, you have the dark world and you have the kingdom world. Dark Mm -hmm. light and either you yes. with the darkness or either you with the light and it's no in between mm -hmm. it's really no in between and one red flag is love if they're not showing you any love i'm not talking about sex and all that i'm talking about just genuine love you know and um and and really mm -hmm. respecting you 
because the person wasn't respecting me. He didn't care about what, how many years I taught school, never mentioned it, don't even didn't care. It was all about him. His main goal mm -hmm. was him. So, and if you think mm -hmm. about it, I hate to have to go here, but the very first narcissist was Satan. He wanted to be God. He was trying to, yeah. he got upset and he wanted to be God. So he was mm. kicked out of heaven. Lucifer. Mm -hmm. And now Satan. Yeah. So these are his mm -hmm. children that are out here right now. Because see, we're living in these um, bad times. And the devil has unleashed everything he can think of. He got these people in churches. They're actually in leadership, some of them. And I mean, they haven't dealt with their heart because it's a heart issue. It's really a heart issue. That's what's mm -hmm. going on. And that's, I mean, it's very dangerous. Very dangerous. Very yeah. Dangerous. Yeah. 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 Because sometimes people, they don't survive it. No. And um, it's not discussed in church enough because there are a lot of narcissistic leaders. Um, yeah. And then there's a lot of narcissistic um, church members. Um, yeah. And we're coming from that world. But then, you know, if it's not discussed, nobody's going to know Nobody what it is. Mean, They're going to just no. think the person has a bad attitude. Or right. They may be in competition. Um, but there's always a root to something. So when you come to speaking, hold the book up while I, <laughs> so they can see it. Cause yeah, we want to keep it up. The stranger I thought I knew hidden signs of a narcissist is now available on Amazon. We are trying to take this to number one. We want people to share, 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 um, visit the website in the comment section, and subscribe to my mom's YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, they we we don't talk enough about this uh, amongst families, amongst uh, church people, amongst friends, amongst every like we have to have some people around us to hold us accountable um, in the healthy way. Uh, right. And it's not going to always be that mm -hmm. we agree with one another every single time, but no one. In this situation, no one stepped up to the plate and had a thorough talk and say, we know this person from hurt, hurting and harming other women. Right. You might want to consider. That's just, I mean, a little conversation would have That's gone, all, gone yeah. far. Right. But um, there's people literally right now still supporting this person right. in their endeavors. Right. So that's some that's one of the downsides about this. If unfortunately you had known people that knew the person before you or right. before you came into a relationship, mm -hmm. sometimes they take that person's side. Yeah, and they so did. you have to be able to yeah you have to be able to heal. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, spend time with God, have a relationship with God, right. not because of someone else, but for right. yourself. For um, yourself. But mm -hmm. yeah, that played a big role in you getting healed. And, you know, there's still healing that's taking place. Right. So mm -hmm. we're not going to sit here and act like no, this no, stuff just doesn't. Right. Yeah. I, it, it just goes mm -hmm. away overnight. It doesn't. Nope. It's it doesn't. real work. Mm -hmm. It's real work. Yeah. Um, and so the book points you to some of that type of work that you could do, like I say in the description. Um, write. Write it in a journal. You don't have yeah. to publish a book. Right. Um, but write it out, you know, right. so that you could see what exactly you overcame. Because right. sometimes as humans, we have to visually see what we overcame and reread right. it to ourselves and say, wow, this is right. a test. Yeah. So this is more of a testimony book, not right. to mm -hmm. bash someone, but it's just to show like these people, like you said, 
they are out to destroy the spirit within them is out to destroy Your so spirit, many yeah. people mm -hmm. so many people and it's um, and it's can i say something yeah and yeah. And, and actually um it's a it's it's more dealing with your soul you know your mind your will and your emotions that's what they that's what satan comes after that's what he's coming after mm -hmm. you see a lot of people have mental issues right now that's because he's working on mm -hmm. their souls and um mm -hmm. and that's what happened that's why i just said god please help my soul you know to, mm -hmm. to put my soul back intact because that's what the person was doing mentally you know mm -hmm. yeah my soul yeah. yeah but and and also i this these this, these two books that i've done all the proceeds that i get i put it back into helping people and doing the things that i've always done i'm i mean you know i know people's like oh they're gonna she's gonna have some no that's not what no it, it goes back into what i've been doing basically all my life i just didn't know that this was me you know god had to really show me i had to really say yes you know you didn't that, know it was what because you didn't I fully did, I, complete that <laughs> oh i didn't know that this really was me you know actually in doing ministry. A ministry in a ministry you know but yes that's what i do i mean i go to the library that's like, another book let me then i go to that's the library. another book we have what the what narcissism book? we dealt with within the church oh oh that's another that's another that's book another, because yeah. i'm y'all during this time frame <laughs> of this relationship there was another person that oh, we yeah. had came from under their abuse and they literally cursed our finances on a live yes sure did <laughs> like during their church service right they don't so even this know stuff me. is real it's real they don't even know me and plus well i'm not even going to go there but anyway yeah but um also i was saying that i also give um lunches out and snacks to you know the homeless they 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 congregate at the libraries right now they go to the libraries on saturdays and i just go in and and give them you know sometimes i give them uh you know the the money and the snack or lunch or whatever i give them a little money too so um, i remember i was in there one saturday and i said i the <laughs> I gave out some and the one guy said no you know and so he saw the money he said go tell her I want some too <laughs> so so um it's it's really it feels good when you're giving back you know you you're giving back mm -hmm. you know I just I just love people I really do I I just love people and I yeah. remember when I met my husband I used to speak to everybody I, when I moved from North Carolina because I was married in Virginia and I would be speaking to people and all. He said, why do you be speaking to people like that? He said, they not even going to pay you <laughs> no money. But that was just met my way, you know, just speaking to people. Yeah. So I always yeah. did that. Yeah. 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 And so I had to really, I know it's not all about me. It's about the God in me. So it's not even about yeah. me, what I'm doing. It's just that I want to please my father because he's all about love and compassion for people. I mean, he created us in his own image and he gave yeah. us this earth that he had to send Jesus Christ back to redeem it for us. And not we're not really yeah. operating in it. That's why I did the it's time to live the kingdom way, because there are uh that's the God kind of way. And for some reason we weren't really I wasn't really taught, 
you know, that way. I just had bits and pieces. But to really know right. about the kingdom, it's really an order in how we supposed to be living. And we're, you know, and a lot of us haven't lived like that. And I'm older now, but I don't care. I, I, I just unlearn stuff. I'm still unlearning stuff. So it's, uh, yeah. Okay. So we have the website I wanted to show. So this is the new website for um, my mom's ministry. I'm trying to see, does it? Okay. So um, Donna Man Ministries extends its reach to diverse communities, both nationally and globally, because you have given to Africa as well um, by providing training, encouragement, and support. We persist in embodying Christ's teachings to share the gospel and serve as a guiding light in, to those in need. So you do outreach. So there's... <laughs> You with kids at some events um, and then giving back at a pantry. And um, you could go here and check out all the things that she's done. And we've just gathered it and, you know, put it together. And yeah, things that I didn't even know. I that. Did. And then, <laughs> right. And then you could go to the books and more. Uh, this is the first book. It's time to live the kingdom way. Uh, and that, you know, a lot of people bought this book. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the support. It's still and on it. You can go get this one. It's no longer on pre-order. So once you order it, it'll come directly to you um, through the mail. It's print on demand. So um, and then we have it's time to live the kingdom way T-shirts. And I will show you um, her in the t-shirts. <laughs> I know this is like really weird for you. <laughs> yeah. But I just wanted to show because, okay, so there's the t-shirt. If you want to go get one. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, um, that's the ministry. Yep. Yay. <laughs> so how do you feel now? What is your what's your outlook? What are you moving forward to doing after you can complete it? You can hold it up again. No. Um it's the stranger I thought I knew. Y'all remember that Tamia song is called Stranger in My House, or there's a stranger <laughs> in my house. That's what that's what this book like reminds me of. But um what's next? For Donna, Donna. Well, uh, well, what's next for me? I really want to dive into the um, the God, the kingdom of God, and um, maybe come out with a um, study guide or a workbook. I just want people to have that so that they can mm -hmm. start unlearning some of this stuff that they've learned religious stuff because. Yeah. When Jesus and actually in my research, I didn't even realize that Jesus had died and risen and came back talking about the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? That's that just 40 days he taught on the kingdom. 40 days. Yes. After he went down took the keys, came back. Mm, mm, mm. It's powerful. That is, I've never yeah. even heard of nobody teaching that. I just never, nope. Powerful. It's really powerful. And the big, and the big thing though, um, anyone that ends up in a relationship like this too, remember if you have idolatry for people, oh. Um, yeah. And you're putting them on a pedestal mm -hmm. and you're putting them as if they are God, this can creep into your life. I'm telling you, if you like the Risa Tisa lady wanted, 
marriage and everything so bad that mm-hmm. sometimes it's given to you, but it's not given to you in the right way. In the right way. Yeah. 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 So because that, it's like, that will draw those familiar spirits, that idolatry. Yeah. That's what's going on in the world. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they'll sniff dogs. it out. They'll mm-hmm. sniff it out. Um, and yeah. the key parts of why this person thought they could take advantage is you are a widow. Mm-hmm. You live by yourself. Right. They didn't own nothing. Nope. <laughs> they didn't nothing own nothing. The clothes on their back. So that's, yeah. It's the same thing with Teresa Tisa lady. The man did not <laughs> own nothing and he wasn't trying to. He, you know, you could go watch that on TikTok, but um, what from what she said, it was like the same situation here. Didn't own nothing, um, you know, didn't have nothing together in their lives. And these are people at ages that they're supposed to already like mm-hmm. been there, done that. Right. So it's not a shot at anyone that may be in a bad or uh, difficult situation right now. But when you have people coming and lying to you just to get in a relationship, that is not That's from God. scary. That's scary. Mm-hmm. It's very scary. And there's a bunch of women that um, are mm-hmm. getting caught up with these type of men. Mm-hmm. Um, and they and don't Vice have Rowan. no one. Mm-hmm. You know, and vice versa. Yeah, and, and men women. get women. it because women narcissists. We got oh, to do work, a series they... on that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, women that is... narcissists are worse than men. We were under one, a Jezebel. <laughs> you don't want to deal with that. That yeah. that should be the next hidden look. Hidden signs of a Jezebel. <laughs> Because yeah. they wreak havoc over your life and you will be like, what happened? Why? Why, Why am you I know? acting like this? Right. Where yep. did I go? Where did I dissolve? Where did I dwindle away? And you want to pay attention to your self-esteem. You want to mm-hmm. pay attention to, um, you know, if you can't get things done. Like you have right. no motivation. Procrastination. Mm-hmm. Right. Procrastination. Yeah. We have yeah. a whole YouTube on breaking down these, these characteristics. And they're also in the book. We didn't go over all of them, but we did. We do have a video on YouTube about that. Um, and I'll put it in the comments. But this is a serious thing. And yeah. if you need therapy or counseling, Go do so. If you're a severe case, I would encourage you to go get counseling. Mm -hmm. Go to a therapist. Don't go to someone you already know. Go to someone that you don't know so that they won't Mm -hmm. be biased in, you know, well, maybe, you know, it's like, no, maybe. Nope. You want someone to give you clear, precise um, advice. Yeah. Because this is serious. This is life or death. So, yeah. Any closing thoughts? Um, you want to just show it one more time before we okay get yeah. off? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, and it is the stranger I thought I knew. Oh, yeah, I'm so that <laughs> <laughs> gives me some type of closure <laughs> and and just yes. yeah, yeah, until I yes work on the other thing. Like the divorce. Yeah. Yeah. I have to work on that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I have to yeah. get this person and, disconnected um, from me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cause that's totally. a testimony in itself. And, and, um, but, um, and, uh, we yeah. are going to hop off, but please support the book. And if you have any questions, you can always inbox, um, myself or my mom. She is on Facebook, Donna Man. And again, her YouTube channel, subscribe. And she has Donna Man Ministries at www.donnamanministries.com. And you can keep up with what she's got going on. Yeah. And um, there will be more to come from this. So yes. anything else you want to say? No, I'm just grateful and thankful that I have 
Kristen Nicole man that's really <laughs> my, in my call me like what you really call me <laughs> Nikki huh <laughs> okay I said Nikki. yeah because I'm like the whole <laughs> yeah 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 because um, <laughs> I don't know I I'll say this though when when I was um married and I had two children and and I was getting ready to have Nikki which is Kristen I was crying because I was like I thought I was done <laughs> I'm like now thank God <laughs> that he sent her to to help me get delivered from this person <laughs> because you just never know well what I was just I was just Wow. I was just using my discernment. Yeah. yeah. You just never just know how God. And yeah. let me say this. God has a book that he has lots of books about. He has books on us. And he knows mm -hmm. the end. He knows the end. And he has all mm -hmm. our lives mapped out. So nothing is a surprise to him. That's why I love him so and that's why I'm just saying, if you don't know him, get to know him because he will take care of you. He's really been taking care of me for a long, long time. So, yes. And I need to tell how old I am. I'm 68. I'll oh, be yeah. 69 um, in April. I'll be 69 years old. So he has been with me all my life. And, and one scripture that I um, learned when I was a little girl, I used to, now this is another thing I was doing. My mom would send me to stay with a lady that had no children. She was like, back then they call them old maids. And every night she had me <laughs> on my knees saying the 23rd song. So I know the 23rd song had something to do with my life today because I quoted mm -hmm. that scripture every night when I would be up there with her because she lived alone and um, my mom just wanted her to feel safe by sending me up there. So see, my life was already being mapped out, helping people, supporting people, being with people. And that's what I did mostly in Virginia. I carried my mother-in-law around. I carried my mother-in-law's first cousin around. I mean, I just drove them around. They didn't drive. I drove them to the stores. I did all kinds of stuff, but I never even thought that I was doing anything. I just was doing, that was just me. So now I know I'm putting all the pieces together now. So I know what God was doing. He was really training me. For people yeah yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so so we uh hope to see you again and continue to keep talking and helping people have their aha moment to detach from these type of people um uh, <laughs> but yeah go get the book it is yeah. available on amazon it is the stranger i thought i knew Hidden Signs of a Narcissist. This will be uploaded to YouTube, um, her channel, as well as mine. So you could go watch it in the comforts of your own time, home, whatever. But uh, we want this to really spread far. So y'all share this video, <laughs> um, share the resource uh, with someone because for real, abuse is not nothing it's not to pretty. play with. Mm -hmm. um it's not pretty uh and most people again some of them are still dealing with the person and they haven't made it out yet um i can recall someone i painted a picture for she's actually remarried she was she saw actually no i painted the picture and she saw the picture and she was trying to get from a narcissist and she was like, I mean, she was like, I, I seen this painting and it just encouraged me to get out of that relationship. Wow. And it wasn't even like a relationship. Mm. It wasn't even a relationship painting. It was like, 
<laughs> so she inboxed me and I was like, she was like, I'm secretly like, you know, buying, putting my par- apartment together. Um, I have like two kids with this person. So I have to like tiptoe and make all these plans. Next thing I know, she was out of it. Now she married to someone else. And Thank they're God. treating her Thank right. God. So mm. this is something all ages deal with. All ages. Mm-hmm. And some all of them ages. are still so, living in it. So, yeah. 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 So mm-hmm. this is to help people. So we're going to get off. And uh, we hope that you enjoyed this. And uh, we just want to say congratulations again. Thank you. <laughs> and... We will see you on the other side. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.